Hello, I'm Marilyn Alice and today I'm going to help you paint an elephant in just one colour. Tone is really important and so just concentrating on the one colour helps you to establish the really light and the really dark tones. So we're going to paint this exciting elephant. The colour that I'm going to be using is my own rich sepia. It's got a really strong tonal range, so ideal for the elephant. And the Marilyn Alice pink brush in a size 16. All right, let's begin. All right, we're going to use tone. Tone is a really good exercise. It makes you really look at the light and dark shapes that really make a painting work. I'm going to be using just one colour, rich sepia, and we'll start with the watery colours. So you want something that's just a hint of colour, so lots of water and just very little pigment and anything where the light is really hitting it just pop those in to start with. And as we come down it just gets a little bit darker so we can just feed that in so it's nice and soft. And it's quite nice not having to worry about all the different colours we're just concentrating on light and dark shapes. I'm still looking at the lightest shape. If you want a little bit lighter, just add a little bit of water, just pour that out slightly. And if I catch it before they start to dry, they should just blend a little bit so we get that lovely soft look. Now I have drawn this elephant up in quite a lot of detail before I started. And it's quite important when you're putting paint on this quickly that you know exactly where you can put it. If you put it in the wrong places then the tones will look really strange. So a little bit more time on the drawing which we will cover on another video. I'm just squinting quite a lot at my photograph, just seeing where those darker shapes really are. Because it's not detail that I'm looking at, it's light and dark shapes. It's a little bit darker just here. And then the light hits him just there. And sort of medium tone for the tail. You either add a lot of water to make it very light, or a lot more pigment to make it very dark. So now we're going in with a darker sepia. And see how lovely and rich that is. The paper I'm using is a Saunders Waterford Rough. It's £160. And it's just stretched. It's using um, a block that's gummed around the edges so you don't need stretching. And it just makes life a little bit simpler and then I tear that off when I finish with it. Uh, we're just catching that, it's still a little bit damp which is really good because that will blend and it gives it a lovely finish. It's dark down there so I'm just picking up plenty of pigment. Just bring that down. Just catching that nice soft edge. If you want, you can just stand back a little bit every so often. As long as we go in with thicker paint, that should work. So just a little dark mark there. And his tummy's not too dark. I'm sort of in between tone. Let's pull that out a little bit. And then we have another leg just here. That's the light of that side. I'll let that dry so that we have a definite line there in a minute. Nice and dark down here. And as we get those light and dark shapes in, it really starts to take shape. Pull that down. That is a really gorgeous sky. Yep, on the bumps on the paper, so it just makes it a little bit more interesting. A little dark line under that tusk. Now because we're leaving the background white and the tusk is white, it's not going to show up. So what I'm going to do is just with a little hint of colour, 
Let's make that a little bit darker. And then underneath, some very, very thick sepia. Just put a dark line in there. And that way we get round that problem. That ear is very dark on the inside. Now I've got to the point where I need to get that dry and then put some more marks in. So I just dry that quickly with the hairdryer and then carry on. Right, now for some of the final touches. Using the tip of the brush, just make sure you've got a really good point on your brush. And although it's big, the point is really, really good. And just using the tip of that and some very thick sepia, just going to put a little bit of definition in there. Just squint if you're not sure where the dark lines are. Some dark shapes behind his ears. And that dark negative shape will really show up the shape of that ear. And dark line underneath his tummy here. Little dark eye. Part of that trunk can be slightly darker still. Let's bring that down. And that's dry now, so that darker shape. That other leg. All the time I'm squinting at my reference material. Lovely knobbly knee. Right, we just need to anchor him down now. So let's just make a shadow, otherwise it looks like a floating elephant. Put that right up to his feet. There we go, an elephant painted in one colour in rich sepia and he really does look rich.